Okay, let's start recording so that those who are absent will get to see this recording. Also, we are going live on Facebook. Don't worry, your faces are not seen. Only my screen will be visible on Facebook. Okay, so there I'm going to broadcast it. So good evening, everyone. Are you all excited and ready for today's class? How many of you are ready for today's class with lots and lots of excitement? Today's artwork is going to be all about Republic Day activity, which is going to come up on 26th of January. We all know that. So it's a patriotic theme today, and we are going to create beautiful art and craft activity using tricolor flag. And also, along with drawing, we are going to incorporate it with craft activity. Okay, so you need plain white papers. Okay, plain white color papers, three papers. Okay, three papers, plain white papers. If you don't have plain white papers, you can use any other papers also, okay? So one is your base color. This is, your, this is going to be the base of your artwork. And two more you will require for cutting and pasting activity, clear? Because plain white papers are easily available with everyone. So we will use plain white papers to create today's art activity. Ready? So let's get started. I'm going to switch my camera to the other side and we will start. Those who are completely new in the class, my name is Prajakta and I'm your art teacher and welcome to Tiny Prince Art Academy. Ready? So let's switch camera to the other side. And as we go along, I'm going to explain you each and every step slowly. So just follow steps and you will be all right. If you have any questions, just type it in the chat box. And those who are watching live from Facebook, just type it in the chat box. All right, so let's switch. Okay, children. So first you require plain white color paper. Okay, we need a plain white color paper. That's your step number one. So are you all ready? Let's get started. Let's take plain white paper first. We have to do some cutting activity first and then we will move to drawing activity. Any plain white paper. Okay, if you don't have plain white paper, you can tear it off from the backside of your drawing book also. This is just the last page of your drawing book. If you don't have plain white aisa wala paper nahi hai, then what you take is you take paper, last page, tear it off from your drawing book. And also you will require scale for measurement. So be ready with paper and scale. Okay, we need to cut two squares first. Okay, all of you follow instructions. Those who are so young, under five age, under age of five, you take help from your mom. Okay, little bit of help. Okay, let's just measure from this corner of the page. Do you see this corner of the page? Place your scale like this and then you measure 15 centimeters. So just place your scale like this and then you mark one point here at 15. Okay, from where? From this corner of your page, they cook. From this corner, you put your scale and mark one dot at 15 centimeters, one five. See like this again, I'll show you. From this corner till this point, it is diagonally 15 centimeters, one five. Okay, one five centimeters. Since we require perfect squares, I'm going to teach you how to measure perfect squares, okay? Yes, if you have just one page, you manage with one page, no problem at all. Those who have just one page, you can manage with one page. Okay, now you have to take this and touch this fold, okay? Or touch this corner. So what you will get here is, a kind of square, see. 
okay all of you must be knowing this how to measure perfect square or there is also one one more thing that you can just mark 10 by 10 if your page is small as many of you are saying ma'am i have just one page so you can cut down this and you can just measure 10 by 10 okay 10 by 10 centimeters and on this point you just cut this paper off see this folded paper you just have to cut this off what you will get here is perfect square number one you just fold that paper in the corner okay and then you cut it okay 10 by 10 15 by 15 centimeter square is fine you can use no problem this is your square number one see when i open this i have got a perfect square here okay so this is your step number one we need perfect square paper so what is easiest way is to just mark 15 centimeters from the corner fold your page like this and then you just cut the corners we need two of them okay two of them this is my number one paper isn't it i can just trace it so that i get the second one exactly same just place it and then you can mark it with your scale easiest way to get second paper also exactly in the same size isn't it are you all able to cut paper if not take help from your elder sibling take help from your mom or whoever is elder around take help from dad okay you can just place it and cut one more same to same square trace it like that we need two squares of white color paper it is okay to have 10 by 10 centimeters or 15 by 15 centimeters square paper okay let's cut the second one also see yes so now we require plain white papers as of now okay two papers are enough two to three papers are enough just plain white papers is what we need as of now okay as we go along i will tell you what all other things we need okay even if you don't have one or two things available in the home i will also tell you solution what else to use pradaksha can you tear just one paper from back side of your book tear one paper once all of you cut two squares give me quick thumbs ups all of you can give me quick thumbs ups once you tear two square papers please okay finished let's move to next step then are you all done How many of you are done? Give me quick thumbs ups, please. I need to see thumbs ups in the chat box, please. Okay, Sparsh says, please wait. So Diksha, this is 15 centimeters by 15 by 15 and by 15. If not, you can cut 10, 10 by 10. Okay. Any 15 by 15 or 10 by 10 by centimeters. So all sides are same. When you are cutting this, all sides are exactly same. Okay. So now see, everybody look here. Now all of you take this paper, first paper. I'm going to show you how to create beautiful flower out of this paper, okay? So everybody look here, stop working for two minutes. Everybody look, I'm going to show you how to create flower or how to cut flower using these papers. Uh, are you all ready? 
Shall I show you next step? Yes, Hinal says yes. Who else is ready? Quick thumbs up, please. Who is ready? Okay, see, fold this paper, fold this paper like this and fold it into half first. See like this, fold it into half. All of you start with me. Okay, paper and just fold it into half. See like this, fold it like this. Your first step is to fold your paper into half. See, when I open it, it is like a greeting card, isn't it? When I open it, it is just like a greeting card. Okay. This is your step number one. This is your step number one that you have to fold your paper into half. Okay, now you have to fold it once more. Fold it once more like this. So what you will get here is square. See, fold your paper once. See, I'll open it again. Fold it once and once more like this. Okay, see, I'm showing you again, Hania. If this is your paper, if this is your paper, fold it into half first and then fold it once more. What you've got here is square, isn't it? What you've got here is square. Now, do you see this line, this fold line which is passing? Fold it on this. Or chota karenge isko, or chota karte jayenge. Fold it. Got it? See, everybody look here. Everybody look here. Okay, so first is that you need two square papers. For those who have joined late, cut two square papers, 10 by 10 centimeters ka, two squares. We want two squares, okay? I will be showing you this flower again, okay? For those who have joined late. So all of you have done, is it looking like samosa? Is it looking like triangle? Yes. Now to the samosa, you have to fold it once more. See like this. Once more, fold it. You will get a shape that looks like. Okay, how did I fold? Do you see this part which is open? You have to fold this like this. So what you will get here is exactly shape which looks like this. Can you all see perfectly? Yes, did you all fold? Did you all fold like this? Yes, okay. Now place this down, place this paper down. Okay, take your pencil. I will be showing you this once more. Those who have joined late, don't worry. I will show you once more. Try this, okay? Once you've got this, all you need is one curve shape like this. See, add one curve shape like this. Essay. And you will see, see I've added one curve shape like so. Yes? It is little tricky, but not difficult. It is little tricky, not difficult. I will be explaining once more. Okay, I will be explaining once more. See, once you've reached the samosa step, do you see these corners? Do you see these corners which are open corners? From here, you have to fold it in, see. Got it? And then you have one curve with the help of pencil. Now take your scissors and together, everything together, you have to cut on this curve. It is slightly hard if needed, take help from mom. This curve ke upar, you just chop this off. And once you open this, you are going to get a beautiful, beautiful flower. Okay, this is your step number one. See, what I've got here is a flower. See how pretty? 
once more okay those who have joined late i am going to repeat this flower once more again how many of you have got flower raise your hands those who have got flower yes those who have not got i will show you once more to see this flower is done i'm keeping it aside chalo start with me square paper 10 by 10 cm square paper i'm showing you once more start with me see fold this paper into half aise fold it into half okay those who have not got don't get disappointed i'm showing you once more fold your paper into half your square paper into half done fold it once more chalo fold it once more it becomes small square isn't it got it yes laila got the flower very nice laila theek hai square ke up baad mein you will get triangle fold it once more it's easy till here it's easy till here right you've got triangle now see this side of triangle is open do you see this this side is open take the side and fold it straight like this see straight what you will get here is a shape that has one triangle on top and then you have folded edges isn't it folded edges now on this you are going to mark a curve and simply cut on this simply cut this square cut this curve off see very very easy see like this slowly cut it off and what you will get once you open you are going to get another flower of same size isn't it okay it's very 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 easy how many of you have got flowers two flowers in place did you all get two flowers in place okay once more look once you reach triangle step see i have already done one more for you for those who have not got don't get disappointed patience is the key keep your patience high up see this is my square right i have folded into half it's very very easy bas paper ko fold karte jana hai see if this is my paper fold it into half fold it once more what you are going to get is square isn't it fold it once more you have got pizza shape see here folds are open fold it add a curve cut on the curve okay how many of you have got flowers raise your hands and show your flowers those who have got flowers show your flowers once shambhavi got her flower in place yes anyone else who's got anyone else who's got perfect flower here yes pre uh, pratham got flower pratham you've got two but you can stick it together stick it together you've cut it wrong okay you've cut the flower wrong try it once more galaxy tab got flower then uh, yes flower neha got flower supriya got flower sparsh sanvi and anaya very good here also anvi also perfect lovely supriya also very nice and shubhra also okay okay so two flowers are in place i'm going to quickly show flower once more okay see it is easy you start with me don't waste time okay you start with me if this is your paper haniya aa gaya kya flower nahi aaya tumko bhi no okay see very very easy if it is plain paper fold it into half 
ठीक है फोल्ड इट इन टू हाफ इफ दिस इज प्लेन पेपर फोल्ड इट इन टू हाफ फोल्ड इट इन टू स्क्वेर फोल्ड इट इन टू स्क्वेर वन स्मोर सो डबल फोल्ड वॉट यू हैव गॉट यूर इज डबल फोल्ड फोल्ड इट वन स्मोर वॉट यू हैव गॉट इज पिज्जा ऑल ऑफ यू हैव गॉट सी दीज फोल्ड दिस साइड इट इज ओपन करेक्ट दिस साइड इट इज ओपन so this side just take it in see this side it is open i've just flipped it this side it is open you keep it like me till you reach triangle step you keep it like me see these sides are open can you all see you fold in the way that it matches this straight line see match match kar liya see match it to this straight line the sides which are open sides see sides which are open sides like this and mark a curve over here with your pencil can you see this curve mark a curve and cut okay mark a curve and cut once more once you reach triangle step all of you are able to reach triangle step right it's very very easy how to reach triangle step this is your paper fold it into half fold it once more and fold it once more right bas pizza ban gaya sides are open the side fold it over fold it over see mark a curve and you have to hold this everything together see everything together and then cut on this fold okay this is waste part throw it and then you open this you are going to get a beautiful flower got it manya got it perfect now those who have still not got it you can try this by watching recording again okay see this is what you will get flower those who have got flower let's move to next step now okay now we have to color this flower into tri color scheme okay so what you need to do is you just separate this into three parts okay how many colors do we have in indian flag three colors right orange white and green so you just mark two rings into your flower with the help of pencil so that we can color this flower into our tri color isn't it so with the help of pencil for your second flower also you have to do the same step okay this is your flower number 1 and this is your flower number see to get perfect flower it is not very difficult it is just a matter of practice and observation observation is the key here okay it is fine to cut flower manually also i would have told you to just draw the flower on the paper flower ke uh, paper ke upar ek flower draw karo aur bas cut karo but then you don't get perfect flower see if i ask you draw flower like this and then cut it but that flower will not be as beautiful and perfect as folded flower okay that's the reason we use this pattern where you fold it and then you cut it or those who have not got flower you can use this trick also you just draw flower and cut it all right next we have to color this flower now correct we have to perfectly color this flower so you can take oil pastels or crayons or any other coloring material brush pens whatever you have okay brush pens whatever you have so whichever coloring material you have color pencils anything is okay and you will start coloring first color in your flag which is orange color into the outer part of the flower 
we have to color this flower perfectly so that it looks beautiful and we get tricolor flag india flag into this flower so we are converting this flower now into beautiful tricolor tri means three colors so you start coloring orange color from your coloring box into your outer part of the flower if you have brush pens use it if you have color pencils use it sketch pen anything just that we need orange color first those who are using oil pastels i am using shade number 283 orange color okay be slow be careful no need to rush also i request all of you to join on time if you join even 5 minutes late half of the explanation or the starting of the class is missed then you feel that you are missing out on something isn't it so i open windows 5 minutes before class so please join sharp at 6:30 or given time so that you don't miss out on anything right also i am trying to explain each step several times so that even if you don't get it in first go you will get it in second then in third at least four to five times i'm repeating each step okay and also i will give you this recording so if you have to recreate this you will have recording in place see this is orange let's finish second flower also same combination we have to use same combination for second flower also first color is orange i'm using oil pastels to color press your crayon down and color slowly okay this is going to be beautiful art and craft activity combination so first we are doing craft and then we will do art and combine it together everything will be combined also we do have different working speed so you just have to work at your own speed just because teacher is coloring fast or other students are coloring fast you don't have to rush okay we all know that isn't it how many of you already know that that you don't have to rush and you have to work at your own speed yes all of you be slow be careful and color it well first ring that's the outer ring of the flower goes into orange color see i put one paper down otherwise my table will get dirty so it's a quick fix you can also put one newspaper when you are coloring down so that your table does not get dirty so this is your first color which is second color in indian flag second color is show me color crayon white correct manya it is white okay so we will not color this white patch we will leave it as it is because it is already white the innermost circle we will color it in green color that because that's our third color isn't it so orange then white and then the inner part is green so let's take green and color the innermost circle of this flower in green color see like this also in my second flower i'm going to do the same thing innermost circle into green so the shade number that i'm using here for green is shade number 233 leaf green color i'm using leaf green so if you have leaf green use it otherwise you can use dark green color whichever dark green color you have you can use it see this way so i have two flowers two beautiful flowers in place okay check all corners if you feel all corners are not done 
you just rub your finger like this towards the end and this oil pastel will spread and it will take care of white gaps quick fix see if you feel edges of the flowers are not done perfectly it's a quick fix just rub your finger like this and it will be perfect see any art is just a matter of practice okay once you practice more you become more fine at it isn't it here what a beautiful flowers superb very nice okay so let's keep these flowers away now mania naisha sparsh you get the batches of in school where you put batches tricolor batches you can use this also very very nice let's move to next step are you all ready for next step who's ready give me quick thumbs up those who are ready okay i can see ruma here and kaushik is also here vaibhav vaibhavi is here okay hello everyone how many of you have finished with flower coloring raise your hands flower coloring over shambhavi it's looking wonderful haniya uh, that step that i told you if you are unable you just make flower with your pencil and cut it if you are totally unable to do it okay make flower like this on your paper cut it and then color it uh shan very nice okay very good now once you keep these flowers away we need plain white paper one more paper okay just take nice base color where we are going to convert this into beautiful poster or you can stick it in your drawing book also see what you have here is plain white paper now see plain white color paper this is your second paper now yes naisha if you cannot make flower you use this trick as of now later on you can go to the recording and learn how to draw or how to make folded flower you can just make flower like this on your paper and then you cut it off and color it okay don't stick or don't get stuck just because you cannot make folded flower okay you can use this trick also just make two flowers on plain white paper cut it and then color it see we have solution for everything you shouldn't get stuck in the class right for folded flower towards the end of the class i'll show you once more to all of you who have not got it okay just because of flower then we will not be able to move to the next step that's the reason i'm not showing you right now okay i will show you this flower once more towards the end of the class just because most of you have joined late and i request all of you to join on time all right from next class don't be late because when you miss the starting of the class then it becomes easy uh, it becomes very difficult to catch up okay i will show you this flower once more those who have not got it use this trick just mark plain flower on the paper something like this cut it and color it next okay <clears throat> now we have to measure because we are going to stick one flower here and one flower here okay don't stick it now we just have to measure it measure the distance okay that's why just place your flowers in the corners like this first place flowers in the corners like this first very nice i'll stick it okay harshita because we have to divide this part into three colors again 
just under the star you mark a wavy line because as our base color also we are going to create tri color flag again on the base paper so if i stick this flower under this you mark one line which is a wave and above this flower you have to repeat the same thing by adding a similar kind of wave see like this so what do you have here is orange color white color green color okay so we have divided this paper again into three colors this is going to be orange this patch will remain white and this patch will turn into green color so this is just for measurement not for sticking right now you just place your flowers and then on top and under this flower you mark one one wave where we will create base for our artwork okay all right now let's remove these flowers let's remove flowers and again we will color this in orange and green before that you can finalize this line so that it looks nice okay with your sketch pen or marker you just finalize these waves so what we have done we have just taken measurement with the help of flowers and now we will color this part in orange and last part in green center part will remain as it is white okay those who have not got flowers you start with the base leave some space on top and bottom and then you start coloring with me don't get disheartened again i'm going to show you flower once more folded flower i mean to say let's start coloring base in orange first or base color okay one more white paper place your flowers top and bottom and remove your flowers once you take measurement for wave is this clear with everyone if yes give me quick thumbs up students show me quick thumbs up perfect now let's color this patch in orange same shade you have to take whatever shade you have used for your flower continue with the same shade let's color this in orange color it is better if you use oil pastels okay children on 26th of january republic day is coming so how do you celebrate republic day in school do you do any special activity in school if yes type it in the chat box what do you do how do you celebrate do you celebrate your um 26th republic day by decorating your classrooms do you decorate classrooms with tricolor flags or with tricolor craft activity like this also you can submit this in your school okay if your teacher is doing any activity or if she asks for any school project you can submit this in your school okay so first patch is orange let's color last patch in which color students green color so the same shade of green that you have used for flowers you can use it here manya says holiday okay yes most of the schools have holiday but you also have flag hosting activity in the school isn't it many schools do conduct parades and then you go for flag hosting even in societies in big offices government offices you do have flag hosting see let's color this entire patch in green just be patient see if you have any color on your fingertips avoid touching this center part of your page otherwise you will get all orange stains 
you will get all green stains in the center. So avoid touching it there, okay? See, once you learn uh, learn how to cut these flowers, no, you will be able to create so many artworks on your own. You will be able to incorporate these cutting flowers into many more activities, such as greeting cards, making flower vase with cutted flowers like this, or craft activity like this. See, check all corners really well. Whenever you are colored any patch, work in small, small sections like this. And be patient, okay? We are going to create a wonderful, wonderful activity here. So patience is the key. So work is the key. And being happy while creating artwork is the key. See, you're getting flakes while coloring, dust off all flakes. You can always keep uh, one newspaper next to you where you can dab your book and you can just remove all flakes, okay? See, base color is ready. Can you all see how wonderful this base is ready? Now, what is missing in this flag? If you have orange on top, green at the base, what is missing? Who can tell what is missing in this artwork? What is it that we have in our flag? In the center of the flag, what is it called? It is called as Ashok Chakra, correct, Velanka? Ashok Chakra is missing here. So once we finish this, we will, yes, here, that's right, Ashok Chakra is missing, correct. So we will draw Ashok Chakra also. I'm going to wait till you finish this coloring and then we will move to next step, okay? Which is Ashok Chakra drawing. So we have our flowers ready, colored flowers ready. We have base ready and we have to draw Ashok Chakra and then just incorporate everything together. That's okay, Velanka, I understood, even though there was spelling mistake. Okay, those who have finished, hold your papers up. Let's see, how is it looking? Everybody, those who have finished, hold your papers up. Let's see what you have created so far. Diksha is showing her flowers. Wonderful, Diksha. Subra, very nice. And uh, Poonam, very nice. Then, uh, yes, Karisha, well done. Wonderful students, it's looking nice, very, very nice. Vedika also lovely. Riyanchi, good job. <coughs> Anvi also. Avni, An Avni Panna, here, good job. Shara, good job, Riyanchi, very nice, lovely. Also, I can see Galaxy, Kaushik, very nice. Radhika, very nice. Children, if it's not your name, please rename yourself. Shambhavi, very nice. Who else finished? Zoom user, very nice. Kaushik, very nice. Please rename, please rename. Harshita, wonderful, so nice, beautiful work. Very, very nice, students, well done. I can see uh, Insure is coloring very nice.
very well done students it's looking vibrant and beautiful already it's looking superb harini sriram are you able to understand are you able to follow are you taking help from mom yes very nice harini well done punam also well done very very good students hinal also well done hinal perfect so let's move to next step most of all of you have finished till this step now children if you have any round katori please bring one katori from kitchen or if you have round scale like this because we need to draw perfect circle we need perfect perfect circle for ashok chakra okay so any round katori that will fit into the space is fine to use okay use any round katori you can bring one round katori from kitchen for drawing perfect ashok chakra or you can bring stencil scale if you have any stencil scale as such okay so here i'm going to trace this perfect circle over here see let's trace this perfect circle in the center of this white patch okay use your pencil to trace this perfect circle in the center see like this all of you trace it perfectly done everybody yes now how many spokes does our ashok chakra has it has 24 spokes correct so in the center you mark one point and off you add perfect 24 spokes now for this who is saying 34 velanka well it has 24 spokes okay so for the students you can directly use your blue sketch pen okay you have to count and then you have to mark perfect 24 spokes okay so i'm going to directly use my blue color so that i don't have to do repeated work okay so i'm going to take blue and with the help of my scale i'm going to mark perfect 24 spokes okay so one central line and one horizontal line okay now count and add all of you count and add 24 spokes you can directly use your sketch pen to do this so that you don't have to do repeated work again and again okay this much i have finished so how many i have got let's count something like a cycle wheel isn't it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now i have to convert this into 24 so i'll keep on adding more over here Thirteen, fourteen. Everybody count, okay?
1920, 21, 22, 23 and 24. I am done with my 24 spokes. See like this. Perfect 24 spokes are done. You can also border this with your blue color, the outer ring. Okay, please count and then all of you mark. You shouldn't have one less or one more. Exactly 24 spokes in your Shok Chakra, that is the center of our heart. Now, what I'll do is if you have any <clears throat> stains, you can erase little, little. Okay, if you have used oil pastel, little stains are erasable. If you have little, little orange or green color stains, you can try and erase those small, small ones. And your paper is clean. Yes, you don't have light blue, you can use any other shade of blue. Okay, any other shade of blue is okay. See how pretty our base is completely ready now. We have to assemble everything, which means we have to connect everything now. How many of you are done with Ashok Chakra? Those who are done, show me quick thumbs up students. And those who are still coloring, be patient. Manya, very nice. Radhika, very nice. Did you all count? Did you all count 24? Yes. Radhika, did you count? Anaya, yes. Okay. Everybody must count, okay? All right. Now it's time to add or stick our flowers. So you can take any glue, add it at the back side, and one flower goes here, one flower goes here. So let's stick it. Only those who have finished with Ashok Chakra, please, then only you go to the next step. See, I'm adding just a dot of glue here and I'm going to stick this flower here on top in the corner and one more flower I'm going to stick here at the base. See, just one dot of glue is okay and stick here. So you have two flowers, beautiful flowers in place. See how wonderful, very nice. Now wait, we still have to do our next step. Okay, now if you have any decoration material, something like this, like pearl sequins, stickers, just round tikis or pearls like this. You can take one one and you can just as a decoration part, stick it in the center of your flower. Those who have it, Stick it. Those who don't have, skip this step. Okay. So here I'm going to add one one just as a decoration with any color. With any color, it is fine. If you have, you stick it. If you don't have, skip it. Okay. Now we come to absolutely last step of the class where you are, we are going to decorate this part also. But how we are going to decorate it? Many of you do have colorful papers, right? Many of you do have colorful papers. So if you have orange and green color paper, you bring that. If you don't have colorful papers, I will give you option. Okay, I will tell you what to do. Those who do have colorful papers, you can take orange color and green color from your origami paper or whatever colorful papers you have. Okay. Also, if you have punching machine at home, you have to take few green punches with green color paper. Okay. And you have to take some orange color punches with punching machine. Now, those who don't have, don't worry. I will give you option here. So let me take orange color punches also.
okay this is punching machine and these are colorful papers but we need specifically orange and green only because that's the theme of today's artwork tri color theme and that too india flag color so i'm going to open this from back side what i have got here is colorful tikis see with green and orange color so what i'll do here is i'm going to stick those randomly into this part now those who don't have take your sketch pen and you color few orange color circles and few green color circles into this part okay it will look like this isn't it same to same just that here i will get same size circles and those who don't have punching machine and green color paper at home an orange color paper at home you use your sketch pen and with your hand you create green color circles and orange color circles easy right so everybody sorted if you have punching machine use it if you don't have you use your sketch pen to create circles like this little little green color circles and little little orange color circles so i'm going to stick it so i have punching machine and papers at home very very easy make sure you have green and you also have orange color dots both colors see it's so 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 easy and so beautiful isn't it and last two minutes as i promised again i'm going to show you this flower technique okay how to cut this flower also from next class what you will remember that you have to join on time right because we are a big class and also it is important that you join on time so that you are not lagging behind or you don't miss out on anything see this is what it looks like how pretty so how do you like this class was it fun and did you learn something new and beautiful manya it's looking so nice superb yes anaya you can stick mini flowers yes why not but make sure those flowers are in same combination okay because it is our flag theme so even if you have those punches where you get flowers make sure flowers are in green and orange color only okay now i will show you flower again how to cut flower it's very 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 easy how many of you have finished with this step give me quick thumbs up those who have finished those who finished entire thing rutvika it's looking so nice beautiful work rutvika super who else finished poonam finished very nice manya finished very nice manya good job haniya very good zoya very nice lovely zoya good job and radhika finished shambhavi finished well done students it's looking so bright and beautiful lovely okay time to show you flower again shambhavi very well done superb okay so i will keep this aside and show you flower again see the first thing even if you don't measure that is fine just fold a small triangle as of now okay it is important that you learn this flower we need perfect square sparsh it's looking so nice lovely okay first thing is to have perfect square in place so i am cutting one square
Okay, once your square is this way, okay, open it perfectly. Once you cut it, and then you fold it into half. See, remember steps. Very good, Naisha. Wonderful, Arohi also. Wonderful, Aro. So pretty. Arohi, finally you got flowers. So nice. See, fold it into half. Fold it once more. Okay, what you have got here is square. Fold it once more. What you will get is samosa or triangle, isn't it? Now see, which side is open? This side is obviously open with all the corners, isn't it? So this side, do you see this side? You have to take it in and fold it in such a way that you are going to get this kind of shape. See. I have folded this triangle over. Isn't it? Now, fold it down, keep it down, and mark one curve like this. Okay, mark one curve with the help of pencil. And simply chop this off. Simply cut it off. And once you open this, what you will get here is beautiful flower. See, this is how you create folded flower. Very, very, very easy. Very nice. Everybody ensure it's looking wonderful. So nice. Okay, students, I hope all of you have enjoyed class. How many of you have enjoyed class? Raise your hands, everyone. I'm going to unmute you so that you can say bye to me now. There you are on unmute. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, Bye, everyone. See you in the next class. Bye. Okay, bye, students. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Happy Republic Day, ma'am. Thank you. Happy Republic Day to everyone in the class. Also, children, if you missed out, yes. But, but see, online class, so I'll be a drawing. Happy Republic Day.